This is a neutralization reaction, so to balance it, let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have two hydrogens, plus this two, it applies to everything in parentheses, two times one, that's two more. So we have four hydrogen atoms. We have sulfur, just one of those, strontium, just one of those, and then oxygen, we have four, plus we have two times the one, so we have six oxygen atoms. <laughs> on the product side, we have two hydrogens, one sulfur, one strontium, and four oxygens, plus we don't want to forget this oxygen over here. So we have five oxygen atoms. Let's leave the oxygens till last. Looks like we could balance the hydrogens by putting a two in front of the H2O. So we have two times two. That'll give us four. Those are balanced. And now we need to update these oxygens. So we have our four oxygens here, plus we have the one times two, that's two, and that gives us six, we're done. This equation's balanced. The trick here, do the oxygens last, that makes it easier, and be very careful. Often when people have problems, it's because they count these oxygens and forget about these here, or they count the hydrogens and forget about the hydrogen here. That makes it very challenging to balance. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for H2SO4 plus SRO2, sulfuric acid plus strontium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.